Hi, my name is Andrea Beluso, also known as the Light Shaper from the Profoto.com blog. Today is actually a very special day for me because uh, we're in uh, my flying club. What uh, I'm doing here is a double portrait. Uh, the first portrait is of my very good friend Federic, that is uh, also a photographer. He was my main instructor when I took my flying license a few years ago. And the second portrait, of course, is of the machines. And uh, in order to do this, I'm using RFI strip softboxes. So having said that, uh, let's get shooting. Oh. The reason why I'm using RFI strip softboxes is because they have a deeper shape than normal softboxes, which give me a much deeper light, a much more intense light, which is what I love. And uh, I'm using them in different ways as well. So what I'm doing today on this glider is that I'm trying to keep it quite dark, but I'm trying to get these nice, crispy and very thin highlights giving me the edge and the shape of the actual cockpit of the glider. First of all, I'm lighting up the glider with two 1x6 RFI strip softboxes. I've got uh, three different setups on these softboxes today. On the first one, which is the front of the cockpit, I've got, uh, I've got it open without anything so that I get a little bit of extra light on the nose of the glider. I put it uh, lying down like this and uh, bring it up quite high. And uh, what I've done on the second RFI 1x6 uh, strip softbox, which is for the back side of the cockpit, I've put um, a strip mask on. If you look at the shape of the strip mask, it's uh, very narrow and very long, so the long part actually gives me a very soft light, but the narrow side gives me a much harder light on the edges. The main light on Peter is one uh, strip softbox, uh, 1x4 RFI, with a set of soft grids on it to give me more contrast and to limit the light spread so that it's going to be on Peter's face and on the jacket. Super. Yeah. Today I'm using a phase one camera uh, for the great quality and speed that it gives me. But I've been controlling the lights while setting them up, setting the different powers with the air remote so I can control them at a distance from where I am so I don't have to pull the stands up and down. And uh, the great thing is that uh, the phase one camera actually has an air sink built into the battery grip. Uh, so it actually communicates with my pro photo lights. Now, one more thing that I love about the RFI softboxes is the new RFI speed rings that make life really super easy. Now, if you notice on the tip of the rod, there is a little red dot and the red dot is for the strip uh, shape. So if you match the red dot on the softbox to the red dot on the speed ring, then you have the perfect shape. I've seen so many funny shapes coming out of assistance hand through the years. They couldn't figure out which hole to put the rods in, uh, but now everything is super easy. One thing with the softboxes is that the zoom function doesn't really affect the uh, light. So what I normally do is that I align the speed ring with the edge of the head and uh, I just lock it. Now, the speed rings are also available for 20 different brands of flash for people that are not using Profoto as their lights and uh, that includes speed lights. One other great thing with the RFI softboxes is the uh, silver lining that gives that nice and crispy light within a softbox. So it's a soft but crispy light. And uh, you have um, an internal diffuser and the outer diffuser. And RFI actually means recessed front improved. So the recessed front is this part here, the edge of the softbox that uh, sticks out from the diffuser and that gives you much more precise uh, light control. It also has Velcro on the inside so you can actually attach your soft grids onto it. Okay, Peter, just one last shot. I think we've almost got it there. It's beautiful, lovely. That's really good. We got it, should we go flying? Yes. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> good one. I'm done uh, retouching and finishing the picture of uh, my friend Pederik, the pilot, the glider pilot. And uh, I really have not done much to this picture at all. In fact, it's uh, pretty much as it came out of the camera. So I have my main subject that is just lit with one single RFI 1x4 
strip softbox, which is uh, quite close to the subject here uh, in order to make it softer because the closer you are to your subject with the light, the softer the light gets. As I said before, I also have a set of soft grids on the strip softbox in order to give me this nice little contrast here on the edges and on the skin as well, and also the details on the jacket itself. Uh, so very, very simple side light, very dramatic. And then on the glider itself, we see the effect of the two one by six soft boxes that are very high up this time to give me a little bit of a harder light. Um, and also at an angle to follow the uh, lines of the plane. And we see the effect from the front uh, strip soft box that's lighting up a little bit of the nose of the plane and that's giving me this lovely sharp and crisp highlight uh, which is exactly what I wanted and the back part of the fuselage is the other RFI strip softbox with a strip mask this time to give me a little bit of a less light uh, spill of light uh, on the fuselage but again we see this sharp nice little edge uh, of the highlight there which is uh, perfect for this. The RFI strip soft boxes in this case have been perfect because shooting in a hangar that is uh, quite messy with a lot of planes and things that you don't really want in the picture, it was really nice to use the strip soft boxes to isolate the subject uh, from the background itself. So everything is floating in this dark uh, environment to give uh, really depth and uh, a lot of feeling in the picture. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, as much as I did and uh, don't forget to follow the next film on uh, the series and uh, until then, take care.